Hey BC, it's Craig here. Um, I'm back. Um, been uh, been a little busy. Um, on the 25th, I got um, shoulder surgery, so I'm starting to feel feel better um, and be able to move around more. So I've had some people reach out to me, um, you know, find out how I'm doing. So I figure it would be good to show myself. Um, so yeah. Um, pain's under control. Um, in fact, the pain pills that they gave me, I stopped them after two days after surgery. Um, the pain pills just weren't, it was still painful, but it wasn't touching the pain, which is kind of weird. But, um, so yeah, I just went right to ibuprofen, um, and that touched it better. So I've been off pain pills, which was what my goal was anyway. Um, so... In the field I work in, I you know I know about the medication and how um, addicting it can be. Um, so I definitely didn't want to rely on the pain meds. So um, I'm glad I'd be proven took care of it. I hope everybody out there um, is in YouTube land and uh, real life is doing well. So I. You know, obviously I can't really get around and go get some records, but I came, I thought maybe I could do a thread. Um, I'm not sure if it's already been done, but I'm going to call it Connection, I guess, the Thread Connections. Um, and what I'm asking people to do is to um, show show a collection of albums um, from from, you know, bands that they know or they have in their collection that were connected somehow um, whether you know member played with them or sang with them or um, you know however um, they're connected so um, I'm going to do mine right now and I'm going to start with this one this is one of my favorite um, 70s artists um, I don't have any of his recent stuff I have like one of his 80s albums and then he has plenty of other ones after that I don't have. So I mostly have like the 70s. So I'll save this one for last. At least in this section. But um, Jackson Brown. Um, I love this album right here, Running on Empty. You know, we got Running on Empty, The Road, um, you know, Cocaine, um, Love Needs a Heart, The Load, Stay, you know. Um, does a, a rendition of uh, um, Stay, awesome album, and I got um, Jackson's Brown um, debut, um, love this album, and um, this was 1972 actually, it's an OG pressing, um, my favorite album by Jackson Brown is Late for the Sky. Um, Jeff Witcher. If you guys don't know Jeff Witcher, go check out his um, his, uh, his um, YouTube channel. Very knowledgeable on bands um, and funny, funny guy. Um, so I'm glad to know him as a friend. I can call him a friend. Um, I, had an old, I had an OG pressing. It was pretty beat up. The cover was. The album was in good shape, but he sent me this one. So I got rid of my other one. Um, Late for the Sky. This is like my favorite Jackson Brown album. Love it. Um, especially the song Late for the Sky. I mean, you talk about a old time breakup song, um, as well as storyline, where two people stay up in the middle of the night trying to talk it out and find out why they should still stay in love. And yeah, I'll let you listen to the song see how it ends, but it's a great great album and then we got the, the jackson brown the pretender um got some hype there actually it's covered up by uh <laughs> by sales faded sales price but you do have some hype there jc mentioned jc jc the flip side you got to go check him out um great out uh great um, great channel um bear with me guys i only got one arm so <laughs> um and a uh, great channel so i'm also lucky to be able to call him friend um and uh, very knowledgeable fun guy 
great material um, for his uh, channel. And then, like I said, I have this one, which is, I believe is in yep, 1980. Um, um, this one is, uh, yeah, 1980. Um, Hold Out. Well, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's one of his better albums, but um, I still like him. I mean, it's Jackson Brown, right? Now, this is what I'm going to show you because this uh, ties me to the other band that I'm going to show. And this is um, Jackson Brown Forever Man. Now, on this album is the song um, Take It Easy. Um, as you all know, the Eagles have recorded that um, first. Um, and uh, Jackson Brown was trying to figure out a part, how to figure out how to add more to the song and um glenn fry um started messing with it and he came up with um, the rest of um you know standing on the corner in winslow arizona uh, he came up with that so jackson brown um hey you know take the song and do what you can with it they recorded it and then he recorded on this album so that leads me to my connection i have another connection on top of that but i'm gonna do this one um you know, everybody knows this eagles hotel california so there's a connection between Jackson Brown and the Eagles. Um, they were friends. Um, Glenn Fry, maybe Don Henley, but I'm pretty sure Glenn Fry um, had an apartment um, up, up right above Jackson Brown um, back in the day. But here's Hotel California. Love this album. Gosh, can't get enough of it. I know everybody's like, oh gosh, Hotel California, if I hit it on the radio again, I'm going to kill myself or whatever. Um, I can listen to their songs over and over and over. I wish I had more Eagles. I will get it soon, hopefully. Um, um, but this one, actually, came from um, the old goat, um, Don. Um, you guys go check out his channel, Old Goat. Awesome guy, fun guy, caring guy. Um, just... He's just a great channel and a great person. I'm glad I can call him friend as well. But he sent me this um, a while ago. And Eagles Long Run, one of, my, one of my favorite albums by them. I picked this one up for like a dollar one time somewhere. Eagles Live. <clears throat> I don't like a lot of live albums. I like Kansas um, live album, Rush, um, Exit stage left, uh, you know, Kiss Alive one, two, you know, not, I don't like a whole lot of live albums, but I do, I do like this live album, um, and Eagles, the greatest hits, <laughs> um, not in good, album covers not in good condition, but album is in great condition, so, a link to this one, um, and, uh, this is in no order, um, but so you have Jackson Brown um, and Glenn Fry and Don Henley and, and the rest of the Eagles connection. And then before, I'm not sure how how far before, um, but Don Henley and Glenn Fry was in this lady's um, band. And that would be, who's this? You got it, Linda Ronstadt. So this is your greatest hits. Um, the rest of the ones I have were OG pressings. Linda Ronstadt, Prisoner in Disguise. Um, great album. I love this album. Um, nice hype on it too. Two stickers there, JC. Linda Ronstadt, Don't Cry Now. Awesome, awesome. Look how beautiful she is when she... Uh, in her heyday. Um, here's an old one. Uh, this is... Uh, I'm not sure what year this is, but uh, anyway, Linda Ronstadt, um, hands down, or hands down, sorry, um, hands down, there you go, Linda Ronstadt, it's on Capitol, it's a green Capitol, um, and we got Simple Dreams, Linda Ronstadt, yeah, anyway, Don Henley and, uh, well, Don Henley was the drummer, and then he got Glenn Fry in there. 
Um, and there's Linda Ronstadt's um, debut. Awesome album. And we got Linda Ronstadt, um, Hasten Down the Wind. Good album. And then we got Living in the USA. Linda Ronstadt. Um, I got one of her albums before she was by herself. Um, solo artist, Stone, um, Stone Pony. Um, this one, um, it's Stony End, Linda Ronstadt and the Stone Ponies. Um, great album. Linda Ronstadt, different drum. And Linda Ronstadt, Heart Like a Wheel. But like I was saying, um, Don Henley was a drummer. And then he got Gun Fry involved, um, guitar player. And eventually, um, they broke off from Linda Ronstadt and went to the Eagles. Um, so maybe I should have done it in a different order. Maybe I should have went Linda Ronstadt, then Eagles, then uh, Jackson Brown. But, you know, anyway, you understand. It's the connection. So please, um, guys, jump on this thread. Um, help me out. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, like this video. Thumbs down. Um, I'm a little out of my game. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, had a little bit of a hard time sleeping last night. I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm sleeping in a recliner. I gotta wear this thing for like six weeks. So I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, so anyway, guys, please um, join this thread. I'd like to see what's in your collection and how you can connect your um, some of your favorite bands. All right, guys, have a great day. Um, I'm glad to be back. I'll see if I can make a video again maybe this week sometime if I can come up with an idea. Um, and uh, anyway, have a great day, guys. Um, and God bless. And we'll talk to you soon.